Well, for the past couple of years, the wrinkle to the high school football season was COVID and masks. Well, now, no masks, but also no helmets. That's right, because of supply chain issues, some teams don't have enough helmets. New at 11, Julie McDonald hits the field in Walpole. Blue 80, hot. Boom. Before the competition can even heat up on the football field, athletic directors all over are working together, scrambling to suit up their players. The desperate phone calls keep coming in Walpole. Now it's just a straight up, I don't have you know, anything to give. The latest victim of pandemic supply chain problems, town sports. High school and youth teams need helmets. Walpole High ordered theirs back in April. Our reps that are, we're buying the helmets from, and they're probably getting a text or an email a day from all these coaches. You know, I just sent one an hour ago. It's any updates, and there's nothing yet. So there are about 110 players in Walpole High's football program. Everyone has a safe helmet to wear, but they don't all fit right. Plus, the teams could still change when school starts. Well, I think we have one extra helmet right now. So normally, freshmen start tomorrow. We're going to get potentially three or four more kids. The saving grace in Walpole is those players who own their own helmets, which can cost hundreds of dollars. And even replacement parts on those are hard to come by. Until the shipments show up, some towns will have athletes working out on the sidelines. Whatever we can do to get by at this point, it, you know, um, Schools and, and programs are doing that. In Walpole, Julie McDonald, WBZ News. And late tonight, we did receive a statement from the equipment maker, Riddell. They tell us that its orders for helmets are actually being fulfilled and should be ready by the end of next month. Lisa. Well, David,